We're on the outskirts of Cape Town. We're at the Czech Consul, the Czech Consulate, uh, and we're at a party given by the Slovak ambassador. Um, Marco Nanini is here. Uh, he was, he's co-skipper of Financial Crisis Class 40 that came third in leg one of the Global Ocean Race, finishing here in Cape Town. For some reason, they're giving you a party, Marco. What's it all about? Well, I am uh, half Italian and half Slovak and uh, live in London and uh, the office for uh, uh, Slovak nationals living abroad so I'm one of them and I represent uh, in a way this office uh, has uh, kindly followed me during the race and uh, they will uh, host a little gathering in each of the stopovers and this is the first one in Cape Town uh, I am bringing uh, gifts of uh, books about uh, learning Slovak language and uh, CDs about the Slovak language and uh, flags and t-shirts to all the towns that we will visit in the race for the Slovak community that lives in uh, all the stopovers. And so it's an occasion to meet uh, Slovak nationals living here, and uh, it's, it's 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 an informal gathering as you can as you can see, but uh, certainly an interesting occasion. And uh, and apparently the ambassador's family is that right? Um, well, the uh, Slovak ambassador uh, for South Africa is uh, my uncle, but uh, tonight we will also be uh, met by the Slovak uh, consul. And uh, this is hosted uh, in Vyshehrad House, uh, which uh, puts together the Czech uh, consulate and the other consulates as well. And have you, have you got a, a huge following in Slovakia? Well, certainly this has brought me to unlikely fame in Slovakia. And uh, I get emails uh, from uh, Slovak nationals, Slovakians uh, following the race, uh, uh, which I guess uh, was not originally the primary target of the Global Ocean Race. So we have certainly g gained uh, a few more spectators uh, from an unlikely part of a, a landlocked uh, country in Central Europe. And for them it's also an occasion uh, for people to know a little bit more about uh, Slovakia, uh, which is you know, a smaller country, ex-Czechoslovakia, and uh, about 6 million people in the center of Europe. Your Excellency, do you make a habit of throwing parties for sailors? You know, we are a landlocked country, and so for us to have a sailor who is uh, taking his boat onto the rough seas, it's a very unusual because mostly the Slovakian sailors are on the lakes and uh, rivers and uh, that part of the water, not on the big sea. So this is definitely a very unusual party. And we are very proud that for the first time, as far as I know, that Slovakian sailor, half Slovakian sailor, is on such a big and very meaningful event like this ocean global lake. And he is, he is flying the flag of Slovakia all around the planet. I mean, yes. And he's taking gifts with him and you know, it's, a, it's a remarkable project. I believe it's going to unite uh, Slovakian in different parts of the world where they are in Australia, New Zealand, South America, North America, South Africa, wherever they are in Europe. So this is also a symbolic gesture, not only to, 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 to do the sailing, but to unite people via seas together because in old saying and philosophy of the Chinese they say that uh, many people say that sea dividing us and the Chinese philosophers say no 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 they connected us so this is a very interesting moment on the sailing how the sailors and the boats can unite and connect the people all around the world.